I was talking today at the conference about the future changes that retail will, will face and my main theme I want to get across to people is we're going to see more change in the next five years than I think we've seen in the last 15. And it's driven by consumers uh, who want things like value, convenience, they want experience and, and they want uh, different authentic brands. It's also driven by the tech world, which is doing things to retail that, that we didn't invent. We didn't invent the iPhone. Uh, the world is changing rapidly with courtesy of that, consumers adopting technology. And it's also being changed by in, the in, inflexibility of our cost base. So the consumers and the tech world are changing faster than our business models, and that's a big problem for established retailers. So what it means for us as retailers is, you know, we have to understand whether we've got a winning business model and can we make our business model uh, more special because this is a winner-takes-all world. Have we got the right mentality, which is to constantly change, uh, look for innovation, don't be satisfied with the way you made money yesterday, think about how you make money in the future, and ultimately it all comes down to the talent. It's the talent in the teams that will allow you to change. I think when you look at department stores, I think it is fair to say that the uh, old traditional model of a department store is probably not going to survive into the future, but I think there is room for a 21st century department store. First of all, it understands its, living, its customers are living in a digital world, so it has to bring social media and the whole aspect of social shopping into the store. Secondly, it's got to constantly provide newness, and, and, and the great opportunity for a department store is to be the curator, to constantly find new products, new brands, bring them through, show them, edit them, help bring the newness to the customer, and I think that all under one roof newness is the core of what, what people want. But there are two big issues for businesses and retailers in particular. One of which is it has to be real. If you, if you get caught uh, in the age of social media doing greenwashing, you will be murdered. So this is something that has to be authentic. So if you're going to do something, don't do something nice and token, do something real. It has to be part of your main business. And I don't personally think you can ask customers to pay more for it. So it's, it's deliberately quite a, a challenging message, quite a depressing message if you're an existing retailer, but it's a call to face reality and embrace change and, and be a winner at the end of it.